Arkitek Abu Zarim, the CPD chairman, planned to have physical CPD unlimited program on 15 December last year. Um, but due to the pandemic, then we have to postpone to 9 of January 2021. But again, the MCO was also extended several times, affecting our schedule. Finally, we have decided to have this, uh, to have this session online. So today, this session will be conducted fully online uh, due to COVID-19 pandemic and this SOP that we have to comply with. I hope this virtual session eliminates the problem that we had before. No more car parking problem, no more room availability problem, but please be prepared and tolerate with us. Uh, with this virtual session, speakers are everywhere. They are at home, in their office, and some are at Penn Center. So we are running multiple sessions concurrently. It is uh, stretching uh, the internet bandwidth that we have. But we have our technical team uh, on standby. So uh, we are experimenting this virtual CPD unlimited for the first time. There are many things that we will learn from this session. Speaking on learning, I hope participants will learn new things from this program today. Under this pandemic and economic challenges, it is like racing. Every day we have to learn and get the new knowledge. Otherwise, we'll be left behind. We are happy to have our speakers willing to share their knowledge and new technologies with us today. I am glad that we have architect Razen Mahmoud. He will be sharing his journey small team with big dream. And we also have Dato architect Saifu Anwar Aziz. He will be sharing his experience as a sole proprietor exporting services overseas. And of course, our special, special guest, Dato Sri, engineer Zaini Ujang from Ministry of Environment and Water. He will be talking about eco shift in built environment. We also have Taufik Nazaruddin, Nohayati Ahmad, uh, speaking about digital solution and Internet of Things. We also have Associate Professor Dr. Ahmad Tamizi uh, from UMP Holding. He will be speaking on BIM organization transformation. And we have uh, architect Gary Wong also talking about BIM today. And other than that, we have many more speakers on various topics. Uh, hello, good afternoon, moderator. Design, you uh, you we will start Engineer in, Jiang Te, uh, right after the, uh, the president's uh, video. Subjects. We have architect Joseph Tan, architect Lu Chi Kiong. We also have David Ye. We'll be talking about um, mediation and dispute resolution. We also have the uh, topic on conservation by Mariana Isa, Mang Chi Kao, architect Rida Raza and Ahmad Naji Arifin, and also on urban design by Associate Professor Dr. Sharifah Salwa. I will not be able uh, to say uh, all, to mention all the names, but there are many more speakers. You can chat with the program. And later in my session, I will also share the finding from our survey uh, from the government agencies, developers, contractors, and individual project owners on what do they expect from architects in providing architecture services? Recently, we have conducted a survey uh, to get the feedback uh, from developers, contractors, and also government agency on uh, their expectation on architects' uh, services. And uh, on behalf of PAM, I would like to thank each and every one of you for being here virtually today. This is our first ever virtual CPD unlimited program. Please give us feedback at the end of the session so that we will improve things in the future. I hope that all participants will enjoy this session and have a good interaction with the speakers. Make sure you interact with the speaker. Don't just leave your computer on, but you are not there. So enjoy the session. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Thank you.
Assalamualaikum and a very Greetings from Pam Northern Chapter. Good evening, and I hope that everyone is uh, healthy at wherever you are right now. Uh, first of all, we'd like to thank uh, Pam KL Centre for organizing this uh, event. And as a reminder, I would like to re uh, remind everyone to sign in and sign out. There will be a pop-up code shown on your screen later, so do not forget. Um, allow me to do a brief uh, introduction to the, the speakers for, for today. CG and KK shared many similarities in their life, particularly in their journey in pursuing art and architecture. Born in uh, 11 years apart, they were both brought up in Georgetown, went to the same high school, uh, Chung Ling, and served as the president of a school of art club. Actually, I'm also the president of uh, my uh, ex school, Langfi School. So they studied one in architecture in Australia and the other one in USM. They both showed their passions in art uh, since young and promised themselves art would never be separated from their life. That is a huge commitment from both of them. In this talk, they will share about their architecture education, art education, working life and life as an artist, and how architecture and art influence each other in their thinking process and when making architecture and art. Uh, without further ado, um, let's invite uh, CJ to present his slide. CJ, I'll pass the, slide, uh, pass the mic to you. Thank you. Okay, thanks for the introduction. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is CJ. Uh, so for this uh, presentation, uh, I will talk a bit about my uh, growing up and uh, my learning of art and architecture uh, and uh, how I become actively involved in art. Okay, I was uh, born and grew up in uh, one of the pre-war shop houses in Georgetown. I think the neighborhood has had an uh, impact on my upbringing and the uh, shop houses and the uh, colonial buildings uh, surround uh, had uh, somehow affected me when I made art and uh, studied architecture.
actually, uh, none of my family members were into art, except uh, for myself. I love to uh, doodle since the day I learned how to uh, hold a pencil. Somehow, I feel that the, I was uh, uh, born with art in my blood. So during my uh, primary school time, I started to learn how to draw and uh, color in a more systematic way. So that period to me is uh, like an enlightening period for me. I joined the school art society uh, when I first entered Chongling High School. It opened my eyes to uh, many types of arts. I pick up a lot of uh, techniques from uh, seniors in the art societies. And uh, later, I also learned from uh, Master Tan Chun Yi and uh, Master Tan Chiang Kiong. So uh, these are, were some of my works. Some were done during the school uh, art club activities and some were done uh, when I took uh, Master Tan Chun Yi's uh, class. Uh, Mr. Tan Chun Yi was a master in uh, painting old shop houses in watercolor. I must say that uh, many Penang artists of my generation were under great influence by his uh, capturing of uh, Penang old shop houses with the uh, daily lifestyles of the locals. So after my secondary school, uh, I was uh, struggling whether to, to pursue art or study something else. Of course, uh, deep in my heart, I wanted to do art. But I think at that time, uh, the uh, condition may not be right. So uh, I turned to uh, Mr. Tan Chiang Kiong, now uh, Dato Tan Chiang Kiong, my uh, another teacher. He advised me to study architecture uh, because he thought that our society at that time uh, was not ready for a full fledged artist. So I took his advice to have a proper career, uh, yet continue to uh, doing art in spare times. So studying in uh, Australia, uh, especially doing uh, architecture, really opened up my mind. Uh, here we learn about the principles of design and all kinds of uh, possibilities in design, solving the, the, the design problems, uh, which in some way uh, affected my thinking in life and also in arts. After my graduation from uh, University of New South Wales, I worked in Singapore for five years, from uh, 1990 to 95. So uh, here I, I pick up my basic skills, uh, uh, practicing architecture, as well as uh, making myself into the art world after I joined the Singapore Watercolor Society. Well, because uh, even though working life there is, is very tough, I still um, find spare times to, to paint and I wanted to, to get involved in arts. So I joined the art society there. I came back to Penang in 1995. As an architect and artist in the historical town of uh, Penang, uh, sometimes I feel sad and uh, helpless when I have to take instructions from developers to demolish some heritage houses in the name of uh, development. 
uh, to me, these were precious subjects for art. So there's a kind of uh, struggling there. So during my uh, time working in Penang, I continue to draw and paint and get involved in arts. And uh, sometimes I even turn my office projects into uh, art. I uh, met with uh, uh, a USM fresh grad, uh, Mr. Chen Kia Kian, who is uh, another speaker this afternoon. Uh, I met him not long after uh, I came back to Penang. We become good friends because both of us uh, share the same passion for art and uh, for outdoor sketching. Uh, the picture here show me doing uh, outdoor painting uh, at various locations. So uh, later, KK uh, introduced a sketching group called Urban Sketchers to me. In 2012, uh, 2010, uh, I traveled to Macau together with uh, KK. Uh, this was my first overseas painting trip, which uh, we fully control our own uh, schedule and itinerary. We had a wonderful time sketching and painting together, uh, but something un unexpected happened. Uh, our return flight from uh, Macau was delayed for 14 hours. So because of that, uh, delay, we were compensated with a few hundred ringgit uh, travel vouchers, uh, which we subsequently made another trip uh, painting together. And uh, this time we, we went to uh, Bangkok to meet up with uh, the Bangkok sketches there. So uh, we were very impressed with how Bangkok sketches run their activities uh, using Facebook as a communication tool and uh, the sketches there. Uh, their, their attitude, very easygoing, uh, uh, not afraid of sharing. Uh, uh, this kind of attitude, I think, is uh, very good. So we are very impressed. So uh, after we returned to Penang, we decided to start the Urban Sketches Penang chapter with a similar uh, setup. So after uh, the setting up of uh, USK Penang, we get to know more and more people who like to draw. Uh, and this includes some architects and designers. So we often uh, plan sketch walks on Sunday mornings. We sketch and uh, we learn from each other. So there were a few key moments in my art career, uh, such as uh, becoming president of Penang Watercolor Society, uh, signature member of uh, National Watercolor Society, and uh, a co-founder of uh, Urban Sketches Penang. The use of uh, social media, such as uh, Facebook, connects me to other parts of the world and uh, low affair enables me to uh, travel more. Urban Sketches uh, is a global group with many local chapters around the world. So uh, before my family trip to Phuket in 2013, I Google and uh, also log on to Facebook to search and then I found these uh, Phuket sketches. So I contacted them and uh, uh, they all arranged for a second, uh, sketching sessions uh, while I was there. So that is how we connect to uh, sketches from other cities and uh, how we make friends. 
So uh, using the same modus operandi, I also found the uh, Vietnamese sketches on my following trip to uh, Ho Chi Minh City in 2014. The Vietnamese sketches uh, took me and my son on motorbikes uh, around the city for uh, sketching spots. So that was uh, uh, one of the highlights of the trip uh, because uh, it was a thrilling moment. If you know how crazy the traffic in Vietnam is with all the motorbikes. In the uh, end of uh, 2014, uh, we made another family trip to Mexico. So again, I uh, used the same method to contact the uh, local Mexican sketchers there. And uh, we had uh, some great time sketching together. So actually, this sort of activities uh, was uh, ongoing. Every time I uh, go to another place, I would try to uh, link up with the local sketchers there. So uh, since the inception of uh, urban sketches, the global movement has uh, over 200 uh, local chapters worldwide and uh, is uh, still growing. So uh, it is uh, quite interesting to know that many chapters were founded or uh, managed or led by local architects. These are some of the, the architects, friends that I know through uh, urban sketching, uh, and we, we become very good friends uh, from uh, Singapore, Bangkok, and Nakuching. We have our, our friend, uh, also a PEM member, uh, Peggy Wong. Uh, she's uh, leading the urban sketches Kuching. And from uh, Saigon, Hanoi, Hanoi, the husband and wife, both architects. Then from these uh, twin cities in uh, Minnesota, uh, Amber uh, was the leader there. And she is also the ex-president of the, the global group. And uh, other than that, Bandung, Phuket, uh, Hong Kong, Mexico, they're all architects, led by architects. Mexico, the, 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 the three uh, uh, sketchers who, who lead the group there, they are all architects. So now with uh, many uh, urban sketchers around the world, we can easily connect to each other. And, uh, we also organize some big sketching events uh, yearly, such as the symposium and Asia Link sketch walks. Symposium is a, is a global event. So you have sketches coming uh, from uh, all over the world. And uh, Asia Link sketch walk is a, a mini version. Actually, it's not quite mini. It's, also attract a lot of uh, sketches, but it's uh, another uh, Asian version of uh, symposium because uh, for, for Asian, especially for sketches in, in Malaysia to travel to those uh, Western countries, I think it's very, very costly. So we have our own uh, uh, Asian version, which is called Asia Links. So these uh, events, uh, provide me the opportunity to travel and uh, meet up with like-minded sketchers around the world. The symposiums and uh, the Asia Link sketch walks were always uh, programmed with uh, workshop, demo, and uh, talks alongside series of uh, sketch walks. So uh, I was uh, honored to be invited to do watercolor demo and workshop for other sketches on uh, many occasions. 
So these uh, pictures show uh, how I run the workshop and do the demo. So apart from uh, the many scheduled uh, art-related trips, I also made many uh, uh, paintings during my uh, family trip. So uh, for that, I am uh, blessed with the support of my family, especially my wife, uh, who would consider the location of the hotel with uh, sketchable surroundings and uh, release me of certain uh, period of time during the trip uh, for my uh, uh, sketching activity. My uh, two kids also uh, sketch together with me most of the time. So these are some of the places that uh, uh, we went together and uh, sketch. So uh, after uh, joining up with uh, the activities uh, with Urban Sketches, uh, it opened my eyes to what other sketches around the world are doing. Apart from uh, sketching buildings and uh, beautiful sceneries, uh, there are many other things worth recording with uh, sketch. Uh, such as a uh, histori uh, historical event or uh, important moment or uh, significant incident. So I, uh, under that influence, I, I started to, to sketch uh, many happenings uh, uh, around me. So I, I sketched some uh, dramas and scenes at the polling center for the uh, last two general elections. Uh, this was uh, done when we had the uh, uh, opening ceremony uh, with 800 sketches from around the world during the Porto Symposium in 2018. Uh, okay, this is about MH17. So, uh, MH17 was uh, shot down on uh, 17 July 2014 uh, while flying over Ukraine, killing all 283 passengers and uh, 15 crew members on board. So on uh, August 22nd, the star published the front page with the photos of the victims. So the, the cover page was uh, in black. Uh, and also on that day in uh, Komta uh, foyer in Penang, the state government showed the live telecast of the return of the victims. So I took the opportunity to, to capture this uh, sad moment uh, with my sketch. Okay, so this is uh, my, my eldest cousin. Uh, his name is Amen. He, he was a gangster and uh, he always had some funny stories for the young cousins, uh, some, some gangster story also. So, so uh, we all like to listen to his stories. So uh, Amen Ko, as uh, we uh, fondly call him, uh, passed away in 2014 and I thought I would do something special to remember him by sketching his last, uh, his last moment on earth. Okay, the, the big news uh, end of last year, apart from uh, this uh, pandemic was the discontinuation of uh, uh, service of the iconic ferry in Penang. So I thought I, I, I had to grab these uh, final moments in uh, sketches 
uh, before the iconic ferries go down memory lane. I took a total of 10 ferry rides to and fro uh, Penang and uh, Butterworth. Uh, I sketched the uh, activities on the ferry and uh, surrounding uh, Penang and Butterworth ferry terminal. Uh, some of these trips were solo. I went al uh, alone and some were with uh, a few friends. And I think on two occasions, we also made it a, a, a sketching activities for uh, Urban Sketches Penang. So that time was uh, in big groups. I decided to uh, record the activities of the ferries in a, a, a more a special way. So instead of sketching on uh, sketchbooks, which I usually do, uh, this time I sketch the entire uh, 10 days of uh, activities on a 9.9 .9 meter long scroll. So uh, the picture at the bottom show how, how long it is. So this is uh, the video uh, of me doing sketch on ferry. But because it's a long scroll, uh, something uh, quite, quite difficult to handle. Uh, to prevent it from uh, the, the loose end to uh, go down to the floor, I have to put that in, uh, in a box. KK, you have... Like uh, CJ, you have like another five minutes uh, before we okay. pass the floor. Uh, to, uh, finishing soon. Kick here. Okay, this one is showing the long scroll. So certain part already uh, already colored, and uh, there are some part uh, I'm still doing the coloring. And. Uh, uh, these are some of the sketches on the 9.9-meter-long uh, scroll. So basically, I sketch the activities of the, the people and uh, the, the structure of the ferry and the ferry terminals and uh, the happenings there. Okay, so it's a, the last moment, the final day, 31st of December. So uh, I, yeah, I would like to end my presentation with this uh, video. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you for the wonderful um, sharing session. Um, perhaps uh, we should um, pass the floor to KK for his presentation. KK, are you ready? I think uh, yes, I'm ready. Uh, busy preparing uh, this slide or connecting to the slide. All right, okay, KK, let's hear from you. Uh, perhaps uh, you would like to share your screen now? Okay. All right, I can see you. Uh, I can see your screen. Yeah, uh, right. yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Kia Kian, or many okay, friends yeah, go, know me as KK. Sorry? Yeah. Uh, so many friends know me as, a K as KK. I'm a co-founder together with uh, Chang Jin, the, the first speaker of uh, Urban Sketches Penang. Okay. Uh, in this uh, presentation, I will talk a, uh, a bit of uh, how am I, uh, uh, my journey of a student to become an artist. Uh, okay, I study architecture and then uh, after graduate, I work very short time as a uh, design architect. And then I go into heritage uh, architecture researcher, uh, which uh, working in conservation and 
after that, I set up my own graphic design firm uh, and practiced as a graphic designer for about uh, 13 years. Then, uh, yeah, I've become full-time uh, until now, a full-time artist. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is me. Uh, I think uh, when I small, more cute. I was born in the year of tiger. So that's why uh, I always use this uh, little tiger as an icon for my uh, social media and also for my blog. And uh, those who are familiar with my work, uh, this red chalk is also uh, a little tiger. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is my Chinese name, uh, Zhuang Jiaqiang. Uh, the last word means strong. And uh, this is my English name. Uh, it is very weird with a uh, prosophy. So yeah, I'm a Teochew. This is a Teochew dialect. And my name was, uh, the English name was given by my auntie. He, she translated it. And uh, very people can pronounce correctly. But uh, one thing good about this name is uh, when I registered my social media or Gmail, uh, nobody, yeah, that's always very easy. Okay, I grew up in, uh, Georgetown in Tan Kong Si. Uh, Tan Kong Si is one of the five major uh, Hokkien uh, clan house in, uh, in Georgetown. So uh, not far away from Ku Kong Si. But uh, although I'm not the surname Tan, but uh, yeah, they still rented out some units uh, for those uh, not the surname Tan. Okay. I start, I like art and I think. This piece is a, a copy from a Chinese uh, magazine uh, during about uh, six years old. So at that time, uh, social media is not uh, common. So for art reference, uh, yeah, it's book and newspaper. So after, after that, I go to high school, uh, same high school with uh, Chiang Jin. Uh, I studied, I graduated in 1992. So uh, I also joined the art club, and this is uh, my uh, early impression of my high school, Chongling High School. Yeah, I became the chairman of that uh, Chongling Art Society in 1991. And at that time, I'm uh, quite crazy with uh, doing on location. Uh, watercolor and sketch. Uh, this piece was done on location uh, for those Chongling boy, probably they don't know, it's a toilet. So I sit there for about two hours to finish the, uh, the piece. So yeah, you have to stand off the smell at that time. Yeah, our Chongling Art Society was located uh, on the top floor of the tower. So we have uh, two sideways and one of the sideways we use it as a uh, pottery uh, to do pottery for the students. So I uh, sketched this uh, at that time. Okay. Yeah, I also do some illustration work for the school's uh, magazine. Yeah, and also a uh, imagination piece uh, for for art competition. Okay, after my graduate from uh, high school, this is uh, uh, many people will face the uh, what's their choice. At that time, I'm I'm very sure that I want to become an artist. So I even have an imagination how my art studio will look like. Uh, actually, my dreams come true. I have my own studio, but uh, very different from what I imagined. Uh, my studio now is uh, quite minimal and clean. Okay. Then after 
uh, my high school, I continue with uh, Form 6 uh, biology. At that time, uh, my family couldn't afford me to uh, go overseas or, yeah. So I, I want to uh, actually graduate from a, a university, so I have no choice. I have to continue with uh, my Form 6. Okay, so I study biology. Yeah, but uh, all my science subjects uh, actually is so-so. So, yeah, I turn this uh, uh, one, this uh, microorganism as an art piece. But this actually influenced me uh, when I later, I, when I have the chance to travel to overseas, I'm also very interested in uh, this science subject and, uh, yeah, and have late, later influence in my art. After graduate, I am uh, I go to USM. My first choice was uh, housing building and planning, but uh, at that time I couldn't get it. Uh, they put me in biological science, uh, uh, but I I was uh, very fortunate that I uh, I have the chance to change uh, course and yeah so. After that, I, I go to uh, this housing building and planning. Yeah, this is a very memorial uh, photo of uh, my school uh, during the fifth year. So many of my friends here now are 10 members, except me, a runaway architect. Uh, after that, I also continue with uh, the architecture course. During that time, I picked up, I, I started to sketch uh, when I travel. These two, uh, the piece on the left is an uh, old uh, train station in Butterworth, and on the right is uh, a sketch in, of, uh, in Shanghai uh, during my trip. Then I also started uh, doing a sketch of Penang. So I explore in various medium, like this is a dry marker pen. Uh, okay. okay. After graduate, I work in an architect office for a very short time, uh, architect Diamonda. Then uh, my friend invited me to join his studio as a designer. So uh, Tanya Wee, uh, his specialist is uh, in doing uh, Chinese and heritage research uh, or conservation in Chinese architecture. And at that time, we did a lot of uh, measured drawing and have to climb uh, up and down to do measured drawing and take picture. Uh, really, it's quite a tough job, but I really enjoy. So I have the chance to go go to a different spot uh, or different building. So I think this influenced me uh, later when I have uh, fall in love with uh, especially Chinese architecture. Uh, this is uh, my sketch during the, we set up uh, the first sketch, uh, the first meeting after we form Urban Sketches Penang. Okay, after that, I set up my design studio. I have special interest in doing uh, graphic design, probably during uh, those uh, architecture days and when we have to do uh, design presentation. I love uh, doing layout and all this uh, design presentation. So I have a little bit uh, technique uh, of doing uh, graphic design. So in two, year 2002, I set up my graphic design and start uh, practice uh, as a graphic designer. Okay, I, okay I, my firm is called Kaki Design and uh, is, KK is my name. Initially, I, I want to make A and I is architecture and interior design, but eventually become art and illustration. Uh, 
some pro some of uh, projects uh, that I did before, uh, including uh, this uh, cleaner greener Penang local for MPPP and uh, Georgetown World Heritage uh, logo. But my focus and interest was in art and architecture and cultural project. So I did a lot of uh, art and uh, architectural publication uh, layout. Okay. Uh, after that, I will talk a bit of my art journey. So it's from an architectural graduate, I'll become a graphic designer and artist now. I have uh, three dreams uh, when I was... Uh, oh, so uh, first thing is a solo exhibition and publish my own book and have my own studio. I think I'm a lucky person. I have my solo exhibition uh, after I graduate from architecture uh, school in year 2000. That's my very first solo. So you can see uh, the man in the middle is Mr. Tan Lai Ho, my mentor, and uh, Mr. Ko. Yeah, at that time we are all young. So as a graphic designer, I, I did all my uh, design uh, no, my exhibition design, myself, all the graphic design. Uh, until today, I already have uh, 20 solos, yeah, from in, mostly in Penang and some uh, in overseas. So this is a collection of my uh, solo exhibitions uh, invitation cover. I have my... Uh, very first uh, Penang sketch solo exhibition in Gallery Sunny Mutiara, I think in year 2009. Oh. Then after that, I, uh, I travel a lot. So I have another um, exhibition of uh, my journey or travel sketches. I name it uh, Line Line Journey. And I never thought that uh, I will have an exhibition in Italy one day. Uh, during my uh, workshop, they invited me to conduct a workshop uh, in Naples in uh, Italy. So yeah, I also did a small exhibition there to share with uh, the friends there. Okay. Uh, another dream is my um, art book publication. So... I published uh, two books before. This is the first book. Uh, it's a compilation of uh, my Penang sketches. Then the second book, uh, Line Line Journey, pub published it in conjunction with the Line Line Journey exhibition. So after that, I have uh, various uh, art catalog. Uh, then I have my art studio and mini art gallery. So this is the, my biggest dream, but uh, yeah, I, am, I think I'm a very lucky person and it come through a few years, uh, uh, about three years ago. Now I own my uh, mini studio and art gallery. Uh, it's not big, but uh, it's a place that I happily uh, walk in every day to do my work. Yeah, now we are. I am talk about my sketching journey. Uh, the sketching journey, I have, I have a lot of similarity with uh, CJ, uh, who shared just now. I started uh, my pin, sketching Penang in 1990s uh, during uh, the university time. So you can see uh, a lot of uh, the early works is using a uh, pencil. But some of this uh, was disappear, like uh, this piece uh, on the bottom left is a Xiaoboi market. So Xiaoboi Ma Xiao market now become a Xiaoboi park. Okay. 
then uh, this is the uh, one and only architectural project I, uh, I did uh, with uh, Yao Wei. It's called Qing Lotus Humanist Space. So it's located in China Street. So after the restoration, uh, me and another uh, four friends actually run the business. So uh, they, we have uh, Yao Wei, uh, me, Chiang Jin, and Sachi. So at that time, I was in charge of uh, the art gallery. Then I started to discover that uh, long format is good for Penang sketches, especially uh, those heritage houses. So I started using this uh, long horizontal format for my uh, Penang sketches. And I, this is just uh, some of them. Okay. Other than uh, graphite, I also explore in other medium. Like uh, this is a sketch using a twig and Chinese ink. In year 2009, one day I Google uh, sketching and urban. Then this urban sketches uh, come up in Google. And I found this group, uh, urban sketches. So I was uh, very interested with uh, what they are doing. So I asked uh, whether I can join. And yeah, they invited me as a correspondent for uh, Penang or Malaysia. That's a very early uh, when they just form urban sketches. After a few years, yeah, the society or the group become big. Then they publish a book, and my sketch of Penang was chosen uh, on top of cover. Then uh, after I joined urban sketches. I have a lot of uh, travel and sharing uh, for people around the world and with urban sketches. Okay, uh, this is a sketch of uh, Ubud in Bali. Yeah, for the past five years, I, I travel a lot uh, to various places in Asia and also Europe. Uh, to conduct workshop, sharing, and also uh, sketch. Yeah, and uh, sometimes when you travel, then you have the chance to meet beautiful girls. But uh, this lady is not my wife. I married another uh, pretty girl from Taiwan. This is a sharing uh, during in Taiwan uh, during another solo exhibition over there. Okay. After this, I have uh, sketching and traveling around the world. My first trip to Europe was in year 2013 to attend the Urban Sketches Symposium. Uh, actually, there's a, to me, there's a dream going to Europe uh, uh, at that time, it's to me, uh, it's quite difficult because uh, of the financial uh, thing. But uh, I was very lucky. They invited me to conduct a demo. So the flight uh, and travel expenses during the symposium was paid. So that's my very first trip uh, to Europe. This uh, was in Barcelona. And I was encouraged by Madame Tia the lead, uh, the founder of Urban Sketches Penang, and also Paul. Then, uh, started from year 2013, I joined uh, almost uh, the subsequent Urban Sketches Symposium. Then other than the symposium, the local ch chapter, sometimes they also invited me to conduct a small group uh, workshop. So I take the chance uh, when I conduct workshop to travel and sketch on my own. Uh, this is Notre Dame 
uh, before the burn down. And I think I'm very fortunate uh, and lucky to record this. Yeah, sometime yeah, at the end of the travel, we we'll have a, we call it exhibition in a hotel room. Uh, I did it uh, a few times and that this uh, was in Manchester, also during a Urban Sketches Symposium. So we'll invite uh, some friends from other rooms to have a private view and it's fun. Okay. And I never thought that one day I will meet my idol. Uh, this man on the far right hand side is uh, Francis D.K. Ching. I think uh, all the architecture students would have read his book before. And uh, the man next to me is the founders of Urban Sketches and those uh, architects. Uh, this was during uh, my workshop in Seattle, uh, invited by Gil, the, uh, the treasurer of Urban Sketches. So yeah, I travel quite a lot then. Uh, so far, the longest distance was in Brazil. Yeah. This is also during a symposium in Brazil. Okay. Uh, no matter how far I go, I think Penang is still my favorite uh, sketching location. Okay. Uh, this is uh, my, uh, my, more, uh, my, uh, my presentation. I think uh, me and CJ would like to have a conclusion. So maybe CJ and will share something of ben benefit of on location sketching. Yeah, for, I think there's a better observation of a structural or space which will benefit your thought while designing and better understanding of space, or scale, or ambience. And help record your discovery with picture and train your sketching skill. So yeah, maybe CJ will add something. Yeah, I think uh, nowadays uh, everything is computerized. Uh, even when we do design, uh, we don't sketch that often. So I think uh, urban sketching is uh, good that you still keep in touch with your uh, sketching skill. So whenever you uh, go around, uh, you, can, you can record your, your, uh, your view or your thoughts on paper with a, a pencil or, or pen. And uh, the process also slow down our 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 pace because there's a you know very fast moving pace. Sometimes you you drive and you you just drive fast and you might miss something. So while sketching, you are on the road, probably walking slowly, and uh, in that way you can always discover something. So I think that's uh, also a uh, benefit of uh, uh, sketching on location. Slow down, slow down your pace and uh, feel the space, feel the surrounding and uh, record it in, uh, uh, with a sketch. Yeah. So KK, you have anything to add? I think just now- yeah, you... I think that's all. Uh... Just now, one of the sketch uh, when you mentioned Madam Tia, I think uh, you you mentioned that she's a founder of Urban Sketches Penang. Actually, she's a founder of oh. Urban Sketches Singapore. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> okay, I think uh, this is more or less uh, of my sharing. So thank you, everyone.
ya. Okay, thank you CJ and KK for sharing with us uh, today. It is an honor to have both of you here. CJ and KK, you have shown a great passion in arts and uh, architecture in a very different way, or I would rather say a very unique way. You share intangible similarities where your family members, spouse, children are always around to support your work before you even put your first ink into, onto your blank paper. You did a lot of sketches where it captured the moment at the time where our smartphone is never smart enough to even capture it. Even your param paranormal sketches makes a better paranormal view than my iPhone. This tells a lot. And all your sketches, it tells a lot of by, I mean, I, I could tell a lot by uh, admiring your sketches. It has a lot of feel. This is something that we learn and benefits from both of you today. Right, without further ado, let's kick off with some Q&A or chit chat sessions hosted by some of our attendees over here. I will start with uh, question number one. Um, hi CJ, can you share with us how architecture and art complement to each other in both your architecture practice and urban sketches event? CJ, are you, are you, are you there? Sorry, forgot to on my mic. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, okay, I think as an uh, architect doing sketching, uh, there's a there's a advantage uh, of understanding more about uh, the the building structure, uh, the space, and uh, probably uh, some of the historical background of the building. Uh, so you can, you can uh, with all this understanding, which probably other sketchers uh, won't uh, know, uh, you can better trans, uh, translate those information onto your sketch. But there's also a, a, a big catch. Uh, I think that happened to me uh, for my earlier days when I uh, uh, sketch, I compare my, my sketch sketch in my earlier days and my sketch now. Earlier days, uh, I, I tend to get very uh, too detailed, too, de too rigid. So it becomes more, more like architectural rendering. So I think if you are doing it in art, then you have to uh, probably make it more artistic, more rhythmic, or uh, you know, probably you have to simplify uh, something, yeah. And I think uh, as a as a artist, uh, I think when I when I when I sketch, I I I took notice of uh, many things like uh, the structure, the 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 the, the proportion, the uh, ryth rhythmic ways of uh, how the, the the building is planned, all these things. So uh, I transfer those information on my sketch and these are all in my mind because I just don't simply take photo and probably I forgot about it. When you sketch, you, you, you try to understand it and uh, all this will be, you, you'll be deep inside your mind. So when, when you uh, do design next time, all this will naturally come up. Yeah. What a great answer. Thank you. Oh. oh, what a great answer from you, PJ. It's, yeah, uh, thanks. All right, okay, we go to question number two, which is a million dollar question. Okay, how urban sketcher event help to promote our local architecture? Uh, okay, I think urban uh, sketching is basically uh, sketching the, the urban uh, environment. So, uh, which includes uh, the built environment. So, uh, by getting a big group, 
of uh, probably non 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 architect or non designer uh, to sketch the built environment. Uh, these sketches will try to understand the building, and uh, probably they have to know, uh, try to find out some some background of the building and things like that. And this, I think, in a way, will help uh, the the local architecture. Okay, thank you, uh, CJ and KK for the uh, enlightenment. Sorry, can I add something? Okay, yeah, CJ, uh, KK, please go ahead. Okay, uh, one of the, you know, the motto or manifesto of uh, Urban Sketches is uh, show the world one drawing at a time. So for our Penang uh, manifesto uh, is see Penang, uh, show Penang one drawing at a time. Uh, I remember, yeah, uh, one day, uh, I received an email. The uh, man said, I know Penang because of your sketches. So I feel very touched and proud that uh, through my sketches, uh, other people are able to see uh, how Penang architecture look like or how the heritage architecture in Georgetown look like. Thanks. Okay, yeah, KK, we agree, fully agree with you. Yeah. So uh, thank you, CJ and KK, for the enlightening okay. presentations. Okay, uh, a gentle reminder to all the participants, we will have a photo section together with uh, our speaker at the end of the seminar. So please stay back. Then, okay, we have another question from the audience. Okay, uh, KK, we noticed that most of your, uh, the question is from Ao Hui Fang. We noticed that most of your artwork were in black and white setting. Can you share with us the reason behind it? Okay, uh, hi Hui Fang. I think she is uh, my junior, also from USM. Uh, for, uh, for my sketches or for my travel sketches, since the uh, pencil is uh, one of the easier uh, tools that you can carry around, so I started with pencil uh, and even uh, watercolor also. So, but I still prefer uh, black and white because uh, it's simple that I can show uh, uh, many things in just uh, in grayscale if you manage to control uh, the medium well. Yeah. Well, I also like black and white, but I didn't know that was your true reason behind it. Okay. Um, we have a, uh, uh, this is question that I have my personal questions that uh, maybe both of you can answer. So um, both of you were architecture graduates with a double degree more than 20 years ago. So do you think that um, CAD or BIM could replace sketches? Uh, when I mentioned BIM, it means like a 3D Studio Max or a 3D sketch. Uh, or Rhino, Rhino program? I think uh, it's, a, it's a good tool uh, to, to, uh, to help in the design process. But I think sketching with hands is another, another thing, which uh, to me it cannot be replaced. Because, uh, uh, you know, drawing, drawing a line in, drawing a computer line and drawing a line with your pencil is totally different. You know, in one line, when I draw, I can have many, my feelings, you know, whether I make it, I press the, the pencil let a little bit harder or make it softer or whatever. Those are my, the, 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 the feeling that flow out from, from me. And I don't think I can do that with uh, the, the, you know, the, the computer uh, drawing. That's my answer. <laughs> okay, for me, during the design process or the thinking process, uh, I still prefer uh, using a traditional way, which is uh, doodling or sketching on paper. I think uh, this will help you think better <laughs> instead of straightforward going to uh, using a computer uh, sketching method. Yeah, thank you for uh, the answer, KK, uh, KK and CJ. Okay, uh, we have another question from architect Lee Siu Ang. Both of you are doing sketches of Penang Heritage Building. 
daily life, especially uh, Ancestral, especially Penang. You mentioned that Penang is the best location. May I know the reason? And also, has our authority done a good job in preservations compared to other countries? Yeah. So yeah, the question referred to both uh, KK and CJ. Well, KK, you want to answer first? Okay. Yeah, uh, my, ans my answer is very simple. I grew up in Georgetown. I'm a Penang Lang, Penang boy. So yeah, automatically, uh, the building surround, surrounding me, especially in Georgetown, is my favorite subject. Uh, can I share something? Um, share my screen? Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I, I wrote this uh, sketching uh, Penang 30 years uh, during uh, last year, during MCO. This is a Chinese version. And I have a translated version in English. You can uh, Google from my blog. Uh, I just want to show that uh, some of the building that I sketch actually become uh, disappear. So it's kind of sad. Yeah, for example, uh, this is the tree in Xiaobui Park. Before that, I have uh, I sketch. Xiaoboy market before. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, like this one is the old Xiaoboy market. Now, uh, in only you can in memory, and also the surrounding like uh, the Tian Seng Tong market uh, next to Xiaoboy market, and also a passageway. Uh, this one was burned down. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have another question uh, from Hui Fang again. Uh, I'm not sure why she has a lot of questions, huh? but anyway, we will take her questions. Okay, uh, can you share with us if there is any future Urban Sketches event that we can start and encourage um, all architects, uh, be it the students, to, to even participate? Okay, uh, before MCO, we have uh, Urban Sketchers Penang have meetings, uh, I mean, uh, sketching event almost every Sunday morning, almost. So uh, we, we are quite active. So usually it's from, from nine o'clock to uh, noon time. And then uh, after that, we gather and we, we share our sketches, you know, uh, and then probably we share our thoughts and we took the group photograph. But during MCO, we have to uh, stop the, the activities. And during the CMCO, we, we, we sort of open up a bit and uh, not, re not that regular, but we still organize. And we have to tell members that you have to wear face masks, you have to keep the distance, all these things. It's uh, uh, quite difficult sometimes to, to control. Uh, and now it's back to MCO again in Penang. So the activities at the moment, uh, we just uh, stopped. So we hope that after this uh, MCO, when things are getting better, we can go back to our usual Sunday uh, morning uh, sketches. So uh, you, can, you can join our Facebook group, uh, Urban Sketches Penang in Facebook. Uh, you join in and then you'll be notified uh, of, the, of the place that we, we go. So usually we will, we will put up the notice on uh, uh, Thursday or Friday then you know that uh, that particular Sunday, where are we going? Yeah. So it's, it's very, very, uh, there's no fees, nothing. Uh, very easy. You just come and sketch. If you don't like to sketch, also you can come and just see us sketch. So it's, it's very uh, easy going kind of uh, activities. No pressure. Yeah. I, I must declare that I have already um, your Facebook follower. <laughs> Thank you. I will join you in one of the Sundays after I settle all my kids. All right. Okay. Um, I have another question. Is that um, how is your youngest? I mean, how's all the youngest or the oldest urban sketches? Uh, youngest at one time was I think three years old, but now the the kids already uh, grew up. Uh, 
but occasionally we still have uh, sketchers bringing their their kids to join us. So uh, yeah, the kids could be three or four years old, and then the oldest one, I think, probably over eighty years old. Yeah, there are a few uh, a few uh, overseas uh, sketches from 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 a foreigner, but staying in in Penang under this uh, MM two H. So they also join us regularly, and those are uh, uh, some of them are quite old. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, actually, the question is from me, lah. For those who thinking about turning their, the patients of art into a career, could you give some advice? Maybe KK can answer. He's a full time artist now. Yeah, KK. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, my advice is uh, study architecture. <laughs> okay, I think my training in architecture allow me to uh, self-manage my career. So, yeah, most of the people will think that uh, artist is uh, very free or the artist studio is like, <laughs> uh, like those in the movie. But actually, uh, it's not really true. I, I manage uh, my, all my uh, social media or all my uh, sales or even uh, all the exhibitions uh, myself, mostly myself. So the training of architecture actually to me is uh, very good in, in two ways like that. We have uh, the art and also the technical part simultaneously. But uh, being a full-time artist is uh, not easy. You must be very passionate and work hard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, another question from me is that um, I think this one directly to CJ eh? or, or maybe KK also. So, um, what happened to the scroll that you did with the, with the final moment or with the fairy, uh, Penang fairy? What, what happened to the, to the scroll? I mean, did you keep it or did you present it to someone else? Uh, I it's still with me, still with me. I'm I haven't finished coloring it yet, so there's still certain part that I I like to put on some colors. So it's still at my home, and uh, I hope that one day I can uh, exhibit it. But it's uh, uh quite difficult. It's not the usual way of uh, exhibiting because uh, I can't put it in frames. It's very long, so uh, I have to think of a special way to 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 exhibit it. Yeah, I, I hope I can exhibit it so that uh, more people can can see the sketch. Yeah. Okay. Um. This is my question. So, uh, KK, so I'm so I'm sorry. I'm not sure whether KK have answered, or you have anything you want to answer. Uh. SM oh, no. question. No, okay. Okay, this is a, a question from me. Okay, I, we have seen some of your interesting artwork from your presentation just now. So may I know what is your favorite works that you have produced so far and why? Uh, for me, my favorite work still in the making is <laughs> still uh, <Good> answer. <laughs> in the future. Uh, okay. Yeah, always, I'm always exploring in terms of uh, new me medium, new subject, and even a uh, new composition or, yeah. So, yeah, that's my answer. I think that's the answer for many artists. Okay. Yeah. The, the, the masterpiece is not produced yet. Yeah, it will, yeah, it will be produced in future. Yeah. So yes. that gives us, uh, you know, uh, some, some some, something to look forward to improve ourselves. Yeah. It, it cannot be just stagnant. If we are uh, very satisfied with what we have already done today, then I think we will be stagnant. Okay, okay. I have, um, I think this question goes to both of you as well. Um, do you think that uh, in uni um, curriculum, should uni teach or, or um, make it mandatory that um, sketches is a compulsory subject because I noticed that a lot of students or even architects they, they, they can't sketch and um, it, it kind of depresses uh, 
because uh, sometimes it, it's quite depressing when you see that contractor who can sketch better than the architects and uh, it's quite embarrassing. Uh. What, what do you think? Yes, I think, I think it should be uh, one of the subject or maybe along the whole course, you know, it should be encouraged that uh, uh, the students should use a hand sketch uh, for to record something or for presentation or what? Yeah, me, I think so. Yeah, I think during my uh, study in USM, uh, sketching is uh, one of the compulsory subject uh, in first year. So even we have a figure drawing sketch also, and it's quite fun. I think it's interesting to know that uh, you had like a sketch, a hand sketches in USM back those in 20 years ago. I'm not sure that today they still practice the same because um, when we see like student artwork, normally it's all computerized and we don't see like uh, all those uh, progress sketches. But one of a few students when they show sketches, it seems like oh the sketch is so much better and it helps a lot more than the, the 3D images. And I always like them to. Um, present using the sketches, but it, it tells a lot. But when 3D, it looks a bit like, I mean, anyone can do the 3D. You can ask the drafting person to do it. But as an architect, I would think that uh, all architects should be able to sketch to the to the minimum, I would say. Mm. Yeah, OK. Um, I think that's all the questions. I think, I think we have another have. question yeah, from Ahmad Nazi GB. If I um, okay, do you choose to sketch at certain location at particular time? How often do you do background study of a locations? Uh, does it mean our urban sketches uh, activity? Uh, I think if uh, that one, it, it, it depends sometimes uh, uh, we just go around, uh, identify a location for our sketching activities on Sunday and Probably there's certain certain uh, time that uh, there's certain event or a particular building is going to be you know uh, torn down, then uh, we will make that effort to record it uh, before the, the building is gone. Okay, so sometimes uh, we also tell uh, our members about a little history about uh, the, the building. Okay, I got one a very naughty question from Yifang. He asked both of you, CJ and KK, will you switch back to architecture practice uh, later one day? Uh, uh, KK, maybe you go first. Uh, for me, I, I don't think so, but I can be a consultant for art uh, to the architecture, <laughs> to the architects. Yeah, I think uh, like those days uh, when I'm Pei, he's a, his good friend is uh, Chao Wu Ji, is a fa very famous artist. So they, they are good friends. So art and architecture never separate. Yeah, uh, I think for me, uh, probably I won't switch back to architecture because I've, I've gone through that very busy stage. But I will still keep very much in touch with architecture so because of my uh, background, my training, you know. So whenever I go, I still keep in touch with uh, architecture. Okay. Uh, due to time constraint, the speaker can't answer all the questions now and we'll compile all unattended questions for the speaker to reply. So the Q&A will be uploaded to PEM website one week after this event. So um, maybe we can... Um, we still in time to answer the last question from also uh, architect Lee. What is your view as an artist on the new building design versus a heritage building? Which one is more attractive to you? Uh, as an artist, I think the old buildings is always uh, more, uh, more sketchable, more interesting to, to sketch. Because I mean, new buildings uh, is a, uh, it's more rigid in certain certain way. Uh, it's modern architectures, but I, I do find there's some, some architecture, some modern architecture. When I look at it, I also feel like sketching it down, you know. But most of them uh, probably not. I still prefer the the old buildings, which uh, has a lot of uh, uh, 
I don't know, probably human touch. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, um, okay. I think uh, that's uh, we are near to the end of the sessions. Um, thank you, CG and KK, for sharing with us today. We hope that we could arrange more physical sharing sessions like this with maybe ten other chapter when the global pandemic is over, which is quite soon. Okay. Um, for now, um, maybe I can, can I request like everyone, all the participants or all the attendees, to turn on your camera so that we can take a group photograph together with our two great artists from Penang. Um, so who, who else can uh, turn on the camera? Uh, Fifa? Uh, uh, can the attendees turn on the camera? All right. Okay. Uh, perhaps I will take the screenshot for now. Um, CJ. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. One, two, three. All right. I took one already. Okay. Um, we wish everyone a healthy year ahead. We, architect Mr. Ming and uh, architect Lo Mei, moderator to the two great Penang artists, are uh, signing out. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Hmm. Oh. 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 Memang dekat skrin aku ni my, Your network bandwidth is low Dia dah cakap dah Daripada macam ada dah berapa kali dia prom benda tu uh. Ya satu session tu Tapi yang ni dia kata 30 minit je paper Okay 30 minit lepas tu balik oh. uh, Tak video dia yang tu edit 30 minit tu Lepas tu model itu yang sama tau, lo main dengan Uzzah Ming tadi hmm. Oh kalau aku cakap rumah time ni aku dah kena pergi bil <laughs> Aku tidur tau Aku mau awal aku tidur awal kan. Aku tak nak tidur. Sudah 
tak kita yang manage pula ah kita manage masa lepas tu waktu mana kita pun tak pernah saya tak menghadap jeb tak menghadap tu eh ah lepas tu poin apa yang kita eh kau ada masa tu yang kita balik daripada buat test run tu ya test run tu aku balik balik jeb eh macam tu aku di jeb ah lama gila tak menghadap jeb aku dah lama tak keluar macam tu lah Dari, aku kan daripada aku kalau aku kan daripada apartmen aku pergi dekat dekat shop house dekat Pusat Bang yang tak sampai 10 minit je bawa kereta situ pergi balik pergi balik balik sebab pergi nak pergi sebab perik pun aku malas macam tu dia punya level malas dah aku dah buat closing video dulu eh nah ini kita orang baik kita bagi 5 minit <laughs> oh untuk pengetahuan dan aku cakap kena ni nanti yang kita orang punya apa launch pool apa benda tu tadi ya opening pool tu uh, yang sign in code tu kita buat 28 minit. Bangku ayu tu tak dapat sign in code tu dengan bangku ayu dah kurang semua. Ah uh, sebab apa aku lupa dah tutup. <laughs> tak aku tak tutup. Tapi sign out. Minit. Ah. Ah. Ha. Lepas tu macam Lepas tu end, Kak Lim End pun ha? Tak end pun lagi, tengok 20 minit lah Tak kalah situ Apa yang saya orang saya saya Kau tak dapat, aku memang makin tu Awak tahu tak sepatutnya saya makin tu Sebab saya lupa Jadi 20 minit ke situ Okay Aku dah tutup lah Screen Ah. Ah, tu dah. Ah. Ah, memang kita yang operate ni pun dah macam Ah. Dah. Aku dah stop share. Aku nak end. Oh.